before I even start let me count the ways I love Halloween fall <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy but just something about this season just makes me like come back to life like I just love the weather I love the change I love the smell in the air and I was just like trying to think about like how far back when did this start <laughs> sometimes like you know you could associate fall Halloween with like going back to school so maybe that's when because I remember when I was little um we didn't really celebrate Halloween so I didn't start like with the festivities like until I had kids like the pumpkin picking pumpkin patch trick-or-treating I didn't do any of that until I had kids I do remember high school I freshman year like that's when I really started loving loving fall and loving halloween because that's when i started to do like halloween -y stuff like blockbusters picking out movies so let's just jump in into my top 10 halloween bucket list so number one pumpkin picking so like i mentioned i didn't start doing these things until i had kids so the first time i went i remember it was so much fun picking pumpkins apple cider um the apple cider donuts like the they had like little petting zoos they had hay rides it was just like disney world for me <laughs> like it was just so exciting like seeing all of this so now that the kids are older and now i have baby i get to redo all of these things like we were doing it like the last few years and also because of things that happened you know things slow down a bit so it's like now that i have a baby and maybe the older kids are gonna want to come with us i hope they do but i get to do this all over again number two going to a haunted house i love doing this i believe the first one i went to was bayville in long island um i went there a few times the first time it was just like this excitement like i love it i not sure where we're going to go this year and if i i really want to do this like i should have put this number one like this is what i really want to do because you can't go with the baby so if we're lucky enough and we get a sitter that i could go with my husband or maybe i could go with my friends or family members i don't know i want to go i want to do this um, the last time we went, I'm not sure how many years ago, maybe two, three years ago, we went to the one in Philadelphia, the, the Easter State Penitentiary. That was the best one I did. Um, I know, I don't know if you had to sign like a waiver or anything, but I did do the option where you have a glow stick, a, it was a necklace so they're allowed to like touch you and like separate you from the person you're with they they got me and they separated me and it was just so much fun so i really hope that i do get to do this like go to a haunted house this year number three so i know i already went to salem but if i could go again i would definitely take advantage of that um, and I do not want to do a day trip. So if we don't get to do that, um, go maybe to Pennsylvania to see the foliage. But the reason why I want to go to Salem, Massachusetts, so I think it's not Salem, but closer to New Hampshire. It's called Parker's Maple Barn. They have the best breakfast, the best coffee. It's called Maple Coffee. Every time, I go there with my husband. We always buy like the the coffee pods to bring back with us. Their coffee, it's just amazing. Especially if you have it there in person. It's so fresh, I, I, I just love it. Oh, and they have fried French toast. Just everything there is delicious. So that's what I would like to do. But if we don't get to do that, then I don't mind going to Pennsylvania and seeing the foliage there because there it's, beautiful but when you're driving to Salem New Hampshire you do get to see on the whole ride like all the foliage all the pretty leaves everything so either one let's see what we get to do but 
I really hope we get to go to Parker's this year. Number four, find a very scary audible. One that I will regret it that I listen to it and I do not and I'll be too scared to go to sleep. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping to find. There was a time that I was able to read books, get all nice and cozy, enjoy a nice hot warm beverage. I don't have time <laughs> to read books anymore, but I do have time to listen to an audible while doing the things I have to do. Number five get a fall beverage so i already kind of cheated on this but i still want to try a different fall beverage um i got the apple crisp macchiato and i wasn't that crazy about it and i'm not that crazy about the pumpkin spice latte but i want to continue this and hopefully find a favorite fall beverage from starbucks number six make my own halloween costume so i already started i'm already invested in this i already got most of the stuff together i just need to sew and paste and i have to do a few things so i really really hope i find the time to do this and i i won't mention yet because i kind of like i want to like record the whole process of making my own costume um, so at my job, they are having a Halloween party and thank God they're doing it that Friday before Halloween because on Halloween, I will not be able to go. I am attending a Halloween wedding, so that's exciting. And yes, so that is my number six. <laughs> I want to make my own Halloween costume. Number seven, watch a scary movie. So there's something about watching not only scary movies, but like let's say Hocus Pocus or scary Halloween movie, well not movies, the movie Halloween <laughs> with Michael Myers. Um, there's something about it that when you watch it, it brings you back to that, it brings me back to that time of when I first watched it and it has the fall settings and like I love movies like that, that it starts with like a fog or Halloween or like I just it brings me back to that time of when I watched that movie and so yes it's just like to that's what I want to do I almost started rambling <laughs> so I want to watch a scary movie both at home um, with the kids and also go to the movies there's two movies that I, I'm not sure if it's, I, I know Halloween and <laughs> is going to come out in the movie theater. So I do want to watch that. And I do, I think there's another one that's like based on an exorcism. I'm not sure if it is coming out in the movies or if it's going to be streaming. So that is what I want to do. I want to watch a scary movie. Number eight, carve a pumpkin. Um, so maybe when I go to the pumpkin patch, I'll find a beautiful big pumpkin or find one in the supermarket. <laughs> I want to carve it and I know I will probably do that towards the ending of October because I don't want to do it too early so that the pumpkin doesn't rot. <laughs> and then with the pumpkin seeds, I love to make the pumpkin seeds like roasted pumpkin seeds usually I like the I like both I like two batches of one of salty and then one with cinnamon and sugar so yes number eight carve a pumpkin <laughs> number nine capture the full moon so I think October 9th um, around 5 p.m. Um, it's going to be a full moon. I know we just passed the harvest moon and I missed it because it was at 6 in the morning and it was all nice and red and beautiful. My husband got to see it and I didn't, so I was a little bit jealous. So for October, I do want to capture the moon. Um, I want to take a nice picture of it. I want to just see it. I love, I love when it's a full moon. I love the buzz in the air. I, yeah. So that is my number nine we are up to number 10 and can you guess it what it is 
go trick-or-treating <laughs> so i know it's for little kids but i have a baby and i'm gonna go trick-or-treating because i love it so we do have a wedding to go to that day so it's an early wedding it starts at 12 and we should be back home in time to take the baby trick-or-treating um this is going to be very exciting the baby's first halloween this is going to be the baby's first of everything like i said this year it's just exciting because it's a new memory for everything like the first 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 so yeah trick-or-treating can't wait to do it i love to see the little kids in their costumes um i just i like to see how creative people get with their homes and just everyone's so happy and it makes me happy and i just i can't wait that's my number 10 i hope you enjoy my top 10 halloween bucket list thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon happy halloween